Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to episode 35. That is 87 runecrafting in the background that you can see. We're doing a bit for the Yak Track. We also used up some daily keys here, and we got ourselves 94 Dungeoneering. After archaeology, I did say I was just going to leave everything in my storage bank or whatever and carry on and get 120 at some point. Um, plan changed. <laughs> I thought, you know what? Sod it. I seen the prices of the materials were just tanking like crazy, and they were, they were losing a lot of money. So I decided to sell everything. And then I also went through my loot tab and anything in my bank, really, that I didn't deem as necessary to keep. And uh, and I just sold it. So this what you can see in the background is me just sifting through everything and, and selling it, really. And yeah, um, I was quite... I was quite shocked, to be fair, to see how much money I had in the end. I did sell all my chronos as well. Um, so, yeah, you'll see in a second how much that actually comes to. And, wow, uh, I didn't think it would be this much, but there you go. That's 125 mil right there. Easy gains. Oh, very nice. 85 mining. Burn, baby, burn. 85 fire making. Just over at the Oyster Run, there is 104 farming. We can now raise and breed semi tops. I'm going to build a second large pen. I do need to go back there and uh, sort that out. Whoa! Jump down and blah, 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 that is 98 agility. Oh, yeah, one more level to go, baby. Let's get it. Oh, nice. We found a bottle of lube. Well, essential oils. Same thing, right? Right, let's whack our bottle of lube in here on there. Uh, we're going to get tier three over on the base camp for the spa area, which is going to give us an agility XP increase by 10% on the island and spa pool effects last 50% longer. And this is the last one. Let's just climb up here. Hey, <laughs> 99 agility. Happy days. Oh, I'm glad that's done. I've spent literally most of today um, just like kind of like semi like AFK in this, if you know what I mean, like been chilling watching stuff and uh Having this on the on the main screen, watch this stuff on the second screen, and it's gone really quick. We've gone from pretty much the start of ninety seven to ninety nine. Got some good experience out there, and uh, there is ninety nine agility. So we can now actually get guaranteed multiple crystal skill chompers caught in a single trap, which is pretty awesome. Um, these are tanking down in price now. Um, they're not like five point five k like they were when archaeology out. Kind of wish I had it for that then, because we could have made some serious money. But yeah, let's go mastery. Let's go and uh, pick up the skill cape. There we go. I really like this cape, man. It's so nice. It's actually like agility from back when I used to play a long, long time ago. Uh, agility was definitely the uh, the cape I wanted the most. Uh, let's check out the retro one of that. There we go. That was the one I always wanted. Uh, just because it was so rare and it was like quite hard to get. I do uh, I do like that retro cape, to be fair. But yeah. this um, I managed to get 580 codex pages as well. So we're only 100 and... 170 off being able to get another codex, which they're currently like 65 mil double search. So in time, I will go back and uh, gather them pages. And to be honest, outside of the skills that um, are 120 required for comp, um, agility is probably one that I would like to get eventually because the 120 cape for this is fucking sick. I really, 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 really like it. So I think as a really long term side project, side goal 120, that's probably something that I'll do. Back to slapping rocks for the Yak Track. There is 86 mining. Let's grab ourselves another runecrafting level this episode. There's 89. Happy days. Oof, 86. 87. 88. Fire making. You. Yeah. Staying on that gain train, baby. There is 87 mining. So after mining for a while, I now realize that I can make the uh, the master, um, well, is it called the magic golem uh, mining outfit? So the master outfit, basically. So let's combine everything together. And uh, there's the achievement. Pop that on. Oh, it looks so nice, this. Definitely one of my favorite ones. It's really cool. And um, with this, we now get the 5% critical mining chance plus 1% rock opportunity damage bonus. And uh, the living rock caverns creatures are no longer aggressive. Another mining level coming in. Just 10 more to go for 99. And we can do the Seren Stones. I don't think I'm going to bother with these. Like, I know they're nice in AFK, but I'd rather go the money-making route and move over to uh, Animica after Baynight. Hey, there's a nice little level. There's 90 mining. We're just on with the yacht track, just trying to finish it up. And this has been quite a big task, actually. Um, the 2,920, not nearly, actually, 2,920 um, ores that we're going to have to have mined. And um, I don't think it counts, like, the ones, the double swings, the ones when you get um, you use a Baynite Stone Spirit up or whatever. So technically, I think we've actually have mined, like, 3,000, uh, 6,000 ores. So it's going to be quite the... Uh, Quite the sell-off when we take them to the G. We're going to get a nice chunk of money, which we need. So with that, the unlocks are. We have all the levels um, that we need for an eye for an eye mini quest. 
We can do the light animica and the dark animica ore. We can do sea salt. We can do use the elder rune pickaxe. Uh, pickaxe of earth and song. And then some crap for Demonheim. So I've just finished my yak track and we got two uh, huge prismatic lamps for that. So we're going to slam them in dungeoneering and that should be a level. There we go. There's 95 dungeoneering. So I've just met with I Love RS Inc. Congratulations on winning the bond in the last episode and uh, enjoy. And by the way, this person is free to play. So yay, the bond went to someone who really needed it, which was awesome. There we go. 99 mining. Lull not. There's 92. I'm halfway there officially. Mining gains are going pretty strong. I'm just AFK in this and it's... Uh, it's nice. There we go. There's 95 fish in. And uh, yeah, we can do the medium crystal urchin. So I think I'm going to go over to the Elf City waterfall at some point and finish fishing off there as it's a bit faster than this and it's pretty chill. 96 fishing. Okay, this is the last level here. Let's go do the waterfall. So I just finished making the last two pieces that I need to make the uh, the master shark outfit or the fury shark outfit, as you would call it. So we're going to combine all the pieces for this quickly. And uh, there we go. That's done on the Fury Shark outfit. Um, it gives a 7% boost to catching fish, option to eat caught fish, 10% uh, boost to catching additional fish, the chance to save bait, and the Living Rock Caverns creatures are no longer aggressive. The, the Living Rock Caverns creatures not being aggressive also counts for if you just had the regular shark outfit or the Tiger Shark or the Burnt Shark outfit. Um, you don't have to have the full Fury one for that, but we're, uh, we're never going to go there. We're not going to fish there anyway. So uh, let's... Um, slap this on and uh, i'm now going to move over to waterfall fishing um i finished the yak track by the way that's done i didn't really want to show any of the yak track this time around as it's kind of the same it's just cosmetics and a bit of bonus xp it's nothing too important but i finished that now so that's why i was fishing mainly over at the um the deep sea platform just as uh, it was afk and we could get the fishing task done pretty quick there okay we don't have 90 strength um but i believe you can just boost so just drink a strength pot yeah, there we go. It's going to do it. That's going to let us get up there. Um, yeah, pretty embarrassing that I don't have 90 strength right now, but oh well. We know we're going to get that up. We're going to do that with, uh, with Slayer. Big fish are on. There is 97. Now we can go over and do the large crystal urchins just to the side here. And we can also do selfish if we wanted to at the deep sea platform. Ooh, 98 fishing. We're getting close. Hey, we just got the, uh, the fishing pet. <laughs> quite close to 99 as well so uh i'm happy with that i didn't think i was gonna get it to be honest that's fucking awesome there's a guy already repping his next to us so uh we'll inspect that we happy days those bubbles unlocked we'll just uh we'll pop it on for now eh? let's stick it over in our overrides lovely not long to go though now 445k experience and then we are done with this skill there's the last fish Wait, well, fish, urchin, whatever it is. <laughs> 99 fishing. Yay. Happy days. There we go. Skill mastery. Let's go and grab the cape and then we can move on. There we go. That one looks all right, actually. I quite like that. We'll check out the MO. I don't think I ever did the archaeology MO, to be fair. But, <laughs> wow. Goldfish. Lovely. All right. Sweet. Done. Oh, we dropped all our, um, all our shark and shit from our familiar. I think next up, the 99 we're going to focus on is going to be runecrafting. We've got 2.8 million bonus XP saved up in that, so it shouldn't take too long. Maybe 20 to 25 hours. Um, I'm probably going to do most of it through the blood altar. I was, I'm not too sure if it's through the soul altar or not, as um, I think the blood altar, you make a lot more money for, um, for doing that. So I might just do that. Plus, you can teleport to the center of the abyss now. And my, ring, uh, my pouches don't degrade, all that good stuff. But we'll have a think about it. We'll definitely start with bloods because we need to get 90 anyway. Um, and that way we'll unlock the massive pouch as well. That's just a quick price check on the uh, raw fish that I caught whilst leveling my fishing. I did sell some along the way, so um, that's not all of it, but it's pretty much most of it. So 16.4 mil. Um, we're going to go and sell all this, and um, we'll put that money towards 99 cooking. So there we go. We have bought enough raw fish to get us to 99. The uh, raw swordfish are going to get us to 94, so we, we can't burn them with the cooking gauntlets on. And then once we hit 94, we can no longer burn shark with the cooking gauntlets on then that 10,000 shark will take us from 94 to 99. This is calculated on um, for double XP. This is not uh, outside of double XP. So um, I am going to do it on double XP weekend just because it, it saves quite a bit of money, to be fair. And I might as well. I'd rather just do runecrafting outside of double XP, but it isn't really affected by that anyway. And then um, I can concentrate on on the fire making, cooking, mining, and then um, that will just should leave us really with Slayer 
uh, attack, strength, and magic, and dungeoneering, I think, after the XP. Depends how quick you get stuff done. If we get all them three done fairly quick and we have some time left, then we'll probably do dungeoneering to 99, and then um, we'll work on the last ones, which will be Slayer and the last of the combat skills, which is a nice one to finish on, really, because um, I've not done some PVM for a long, well, PVM for a long time at all, and I know Slayer's not full-on PVM, but at least it's killing something. It's just going to be a nice change from just regular skilling. Overall, the cooking to get us from 83 to 99, we're going to lose about 5 mil, which is not bad. It's not really much at all. And we just purchased enough magic logs as well to get us to 99. We have 1,400 protein logs to use as well. So that should be enough overall with about 16,000, maybe 16,800 logs in total to burn. So I think the calculator is actually telling us that we need 15,708. So we've, we've got more than enough for 99 fire making as well on double XP. There we go. There's 90 rune crafting. We get some good unlocks from this. Did mention before. Look at all that. Wow. Massive pouch. That's uh, definitely very uh, helpful for us. Um, anything else there that we can do that's pretty decent? Sea Singer Armor, um, Ports of Venture, the Occultist, and we can do Soul Runes after Fight Club, but I don't think I'm going to bother with that because the GP is just cack. It's only 500k per hour, but you can get up to 750k XP per hour, but I'd rather make like what I'm doing now, like 13 to 15 mil an hour doing Blood Runes um, than make 500k an hour. So, And I'm still getting probably about three to 400k XP an hour, so not too bad. We can also make a large runecrafting pouch as well. I think I have got about 92, 93 of these threads, so we're only seven or so off them, and we can make our first rune pouch. Big thank you to everyone who made it this far to the end of the episode. Apologies, it was just a massive level spam throughout the episode, but I just wanted to get some stuff done, ready for DXP, just so we can uh, get to max a bit quicker. If you haven't seen my latest video, which was about the future of my channel, that's over on the right right now. Make sure you go over and uh, check that out as uh, it's full of information that's quite important and it's definitely worth watching just so you know um, where we're going to go with everything. If you did enjoy the video, do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.